have been playing roller derby for four years. Um, I first heard about roller derby um, several several years before that. Um, a team started up in Little Rock, and I mean, I wanted to go, but uh, it was too far for me. And I mean, we're talking about this is like back in the MySpace days, but um, I didn't want to drive that far um, to go to practice and stuff, so I didn't go. And then in um, 2011, um, I was going through a very uh, painful divorce and a friend of mine um, invited me to a fundraiser for the Toad Suck Derby Dames um, at a pizza place and I happened to be starving at the time so I got up and went and uh, that's how it all got started and um, they invited me to practice. I showed up and the rest is history. Grits was founded in 2010 and I joined them in 2012. Um, my original team, the Toad Suck Derby Dames, went under. We restarted a new league called the Faulkner County Roller Girls. And that one went under too. And when they did, I uh, thought seriously about quitting. Um, but I decided to go ahead and join Grits. You know, I, I didn't think I was good enough. So, um, but I went and um, I, I had intention on playing for one year. And then I was going to uh, retire and just be done. And I was going to start a family and, you know, be a family woman and, you know, wanted to be home with my babies. So that's what I did. I played for Grits for one year and um, I retired and the babies never came. So after a year and a half in retirement, Pitbull is back. And so this is the first year that I've really been competitive, um, really played my heart out. And um, I've actually made Team Arkansas this year, which is really cool. Um, that is the top 20 girls in the state of Arkansas and we play in one tournament called State Wars that's going to be in Florida in December. So I'm really excited about that and I'm excited about trying out for a Wolfta League in December hopefully. I think that would be really cool to play for a Wolfta League. Um, Wolfta is um, kind of like the NFL of roller derby and it, you know it's not it's not nearly as popular as the NFL, and I'm not going to get paid, but it's it's much more competitive. Um, Grits is my home, and they're my family, um, but we're just a recreational league. We're not real competitive, and so I'm excited about playing a little more competitively. I am mostly a blocker. Um, I do jam at practices, not always voluntarily, which is a problem with a lot of blockers jamming is hard um but the during the game there are four blockers and a jammer from each team on the track um the jammer is the one that scores the points and she wears a helmet cover that has a star on it and that's how you know who the jammer is well so there's eight blockers since you've got both teams on there and then there's two jammers and they are making their way through and we're trying to beat up their jammer and they're trying to beat up our jammer and then they make it through eventually hopefully they come back around the track and then the second time they come through is when they score points and every time their jammer passes one of our blockers they get one point and vice versa and then they get a point like say if one of us got sent to the box which is very likely um, they get a point for that one too. The first one to make it through the pack, the first go around is the lead jammer and she can call the jam off at any time by hitting her hips. Um, if there's no lead jammer or if the lead jammer does not call it off, a jam will go for two minutes and then we'll reset. I chose the name Pitbull because um, I'm a big dog person and um, I groom dogs during the day for my day job and um, I chose Pitbull because uh, they're strong and athletic and beautiful animals and since then um, 
I've almost changed my name on multiple occasions. Um, so I've actually had people from other teams ask my teammates uh, if I abused animals, which is ridiculous. Um, but I realized that the negative stereotypes and what have you associated with using the name Pitbull in an aggressive sport, um, I guess they thought that I was probably a bad person, but I'm the biggest dog lover that ever walked the earth. The roller derby community is trying to get away from the costumes, the tutus, the fishnets, you know, and we want to be taken seriously. And even um, our league has like specific rules about your shorts. Your short, you cannot have your butt hanging out. Okay, it's not professional. You don't look like a serious athlete with your butt cheeks flopping around all over the place. So we have rules against that. No butt cheeks. And the teams that come to play us are not allowed to show their butt cheeks. Our games are family friendly. There are kids everywhere. Nobody wants to see your butt cheeks, so we have to wear proper shorts. And um, friends don't let friends wear tutus. It's just all there is to it. Roller derby is a sisterhood. Um, we're a very supportive group of women, and um, well, and men. There are there are men in roller derby teams. Um, it's just the most supportive group like I've ever heard of. We just, we love everybody. We support everybody. Um, we do a lot of charity work. We're always doing stuff for the Humane Societies and the LGBTQ community. Um, recently, we had the Pride Fest in Little Rock, and we went out and had a booth and talked to people about roller derby. And I had one of my proudest moments there. Um, a person came up and asked me and another girl if we could come down and get recorded um, telling our story of coming out of the closet. And um, of course, it, we're both straight. And I think the girl was surprised and we were like, oh, we're straight, you know. Um, and so she invited us to ask the rest of the team to come down and give their coming out stories. We couldn't, for the life of us, think of who to ask because it's it's a non-issue. You know, it's it's oh, you drank water today and you're a lesbian. It's it's a complete non-issue in the roller derby community. We're, we support everybody. And that, that that doesn't matter to us. So um, that was a very proud moment for for me when I realized oh, I don't even I don't even know who's gay or who's straight on my team, it doesn't matter.